which I thought of some more things, you guys, uh, to talk about as a child. Um, I was always picked on by my sister and my dad. They'd always play pranks on me. They would, well, my dad, he cut up this potato. He was making some stew or something. He cut up this potato and he was like, hey, Craig, want some apple? And he fed it to me and I was like, hey, this is an apple, no, oh, why are you lying to me? And he'd just sit there and laugh. My dad's very, I don't know, he takes pleasure in making fun of his kids, I guess. But, yeah, my sister, she, she's, She's my sister. I don't know how to explain this to her. Um, she, oh, she would, I remember one time, I was probably like a little bit like six, she grabbed my head and just eat it, and I got a black eye. She denies it to this day, but I remember like she, she injured me, child abuse. Slow down, overpass, speeding up. Um, but yeah, and then, so to get her back, I would do things like, fake crying. I was super good at that when I was younger. I would just like think of something hella sad like Dumbo. I don't know. That, that movie made me cry, kind of. You know the part where the mom's like locked up and you know they go to visit her Dumbo and his little mouse friend and then they sing that song Baby Mine and it's like Baby Mine Don't you cry and it's like all the other animals like it's like a montage of like you know, the tiger and the hippos and like the giraffes and they're all like with their young and like fucking Dumbo's mom is in a cage that's like just her size and she's like trying to touch the trunk of Dumbo but she can't and well, actually she can't she like rocks him for a bit and then yeah the, that part always made me sad so I always think of that when I cry for uh fake crying to get my sister in trouble I remember like this one time I fake cried my mom yelled at my sister and scolded her and my mom picked me up and carried me away, and as she carried me away, I did that thing where I was like... Like I smiled and sat, like sobbed still. So my sister kind of has that against me. Um, my dad, going back to my dad, he'd always tell me things like, Don't swallow cherry pits or watermelon pits, because if you, you know, if you do, it's going to grow out your butt. And God knows, no one wants a watermelon or cherry plant growing out their butt. So uh, I remember that happened once. I was eating a watermelon, I swallowed a seed, and I freaked out. I was like, oh my gosh, what is gonna happen? Okay, let me think, how can I get rid of this? Okay, if I don't drink water, it's not gonna grow. So I stopped drinking water for a while, thinking that that would stop the plant from growing in my stomach and out my butt. Um, and I just drank milk, because milk kills plants, I don't know. This is my rationale as a child. Um, but yeah, and then, you know those fishing around games, like you have a little fish thing and like the fish are like opening and closing the mouths as they like rotate or whatever. So back then I had one of those games and I thought it was the sickest game in the world. It was pretty cool. I used to play that all the time. And then out of curiosity, I like took the game and I flipped it over because it was mechanical. It's like a game you turn on is battery operated and there's like a little hole there. And I'm like, oh, what's this? So I stuck my finger in this hole, and I guess it was like an open hole for the gears. And my finger got jammed in the gears. And so my dad, I screamed like hell. I was like, ah, what? What? I was like pinching my finger. I'm like fucking six. And so my dad comes, and my mom comes. They're just laughing at me. My dad has to break that game. He like unscrews the bottom and takes my finger out. And I was a little traumatized from that. Um, what else? What else? <coughs> I'm trying to think of what else I did as a child. I stuck a TikTok at my nose, I think when I was eight. Um, I don't know why. I thought it would be really fun to stick it at my nose. I was like, oh, this smells good. And I'm like, oh, it's just the right size. So I stuck it at my nose. And it being minty, a Tic Tac mint, it burned like a son of a bitch. So I'm sitting there screaming and I run to my dad and I'm crying, I'm like freaking out. I'm like, oh my God, this thing's gonna get lodged in my brain. I'm gonna, I mean, I'm gonna be a hell of like special for the rest of my life because I have a Tic Tac in my brain. So my dad just looks at me, kind of turns over. He, sit, he sits on the couch a lot. That's his, that's his spot. He's very stagnant. So in his, in his little spot on the couch, I told him he's, I'm crying, he's laughing again, as usual. And he was just 
just like, did you try blowing your nose? And that never occurred to me. And I'm like, God, the simplest answer is this ingenious. Dad, you're a genius. So I blow it out. All is right with the world. I'm normal somewhat. Um, and yeah, I remember my sister would, actually not my sister. So this one time I, I would always watch my dad get ready in the morning sometimes. And so he would always like gel his hair and do all this cool stuff. And I'm like, I want to do that too. So me being the brightest child in the world, took shampoo, gel, I don't know, whatever I could get my hands on that sat on my bathroom counter. And I just mixed it all together, mousse, I guess, and just put it in my hair. And my mom freaked out because, you know, child with like a bunch of shit in his hair. It could be toxic. Probably explains a lot. Um, so she runs me to the bathroom and like rinses my hair out, but it took like an hour because it was just a crazy concoction of a bunch of different things. So that was a fun time. Um, I remember baking, making cookies, while well, trying to make cookies or pretending to bake. I like to cook, mostly bake. Um, so I took like my mom's like plants and I'd like pull off the leaves and stems and shit. And I would throw it on this pan and throw it in the oven and turn on the oven because apparently I knew how to turn on the oven as a child. My mom freaked out, thought I was gonna start a fire. My mom was very high stress, very, very tense mother she is. Probably because of me. I probably shaved off a few years of her life. Um, what else? I tried making macaroni and cheese with my mom one time. And you know, the macaroni comes with like the packaged cheese. So you know, you gotta boil the water, then put the macaroni in and then drain it, that's the key point, is to drain the macaroni and then put the cheese in and all the fixins, like the milk and the butter. No, I didn't do that. I just threw everything into the pot, like boiling water. I put the cheese, I put the macaroni. So that batch kind of went out the window. Um, not literally, but I'm not surprised if I did throw shit out the window. But yeah, life as a child is pretty fun. Um, I'll think of more stuff to talk about in a bit. Alright, see you guys later. Five!